okay so let's take a look at how you can install vagrant on ubuntu so first thing it's we can choose the download options so here you see it has this option of installing through app repository so first thing that you may need here is installing virtualbox so we will try and update sudo app to update then once we finish this process we can go for sudo apt install virtualbox say yes and it should download it may take some time so just wait for it to finish Once it installs that, what we can do is we can use either snap or the apt repository option to install Vagrant, right? So let's take a look at snap and here we'll have to check for Vagrant. Okay. So it seems like Vagrant is not available, so we'll re revert back to app repository option, right? So let the terminal finish its installation. And once it does, we can return here. And as you can see, this method allows us to add the repository to Ubuntu and later we can install the Vagrant. Let's open terminal now that it has released the prompt what we can do is clear this now let's go and add the key ring copy and paste here use tab to go to end of the line hit enter and it says apt keys depreciated manage key rings in the state gpd instead C app dash key. So, right, so what we'll do is we will simply copy and paste if it allows us to add the repository. Right, hit enter. And there you go. You have basically done the snap or sorry, app update. And next thing is can go ahead and go for migrant install say yes and it will try and install that okay considering it's around 253 mb so it will take some time Okay, now that it has returned the prompt, we can clear this and we can check Vacron double dash version. And if it's installed, it should return with the prompt. So let's type in Vacron without doing anything. And let's see if it returns something. And as you can see, it has returned the commands for Vacron. Now you can go ahead, install Vacron boxes and test out uh, some of the server versions on your system.